We welcome you inside the Veterans Memorial Gymnasium on the campus of Somerset Berkeley Regional High School for today's matchup. And tonight, it's SCC action. The 4-1 Somerset Berkeley Raiders hosting the 3-4 Greater New Bedford Bears. Hello everyone, alongside Jeff LaPriori on camera. I'm Keegan Hamblet for our Blue Raider Studios at Somerset Berkeley and Berkeley Cable Access in Berkeley. Tonight's starting lineups for the Bears. Farnworth, King, Valdez, Morin, and Reese for the Raiders. McDonald, Bjork, Medeiros, McGarry, Dion. The Raiders will go left to right in their white uniforms. The Bears in green will go right to left. Sit back and enjoy off the tip-off. Karn Farnworth will take it up, passing it to his right to King, back to Farnworth, feeding it to the free throw line. We'll go to the left to Valdez. A three on the way, and it's good! The early basket for Johan Valdez. McDonald, the sophomore, takes it up. Dion back to McDonald. McDonald and open McGarry down low. Fakes the lamp and goes up for two. Farnworth, the captain, up. Going back to King on the right side. Back to Farnworth at the free throw line again. Driving again. Now the Bears and another basket. This time, Jaden Reese, the junior. 5-2 early on, McDonald driving on the right side, will cut it back, almost lost it, getting it back, and he's fouled on the way by Farnworth. McDonald will inbound with Farnworth on him, we'll get it to McGarry on the right, we'll go to Madeiras up top, back to McDonald, who'll reset. McDonald directing traffic, Farnworth on him, Going on the left side, stepping back now, trying to drive in. Medeiros in the corner for a three. No good, the rebound bobbled. It's covered by Matt King. The Raiders get a steal out of him. McGarry gets it back. McGarry to Medeiros. Medeiros driving in on the left, all the way. Great defensive play, no foul called. King will take over and we'll leave it for Farnworth in the back. Farnworth back to King on the right side. We're gonna see that a lot tonight. Farnworth back to King again, who go cross court, and it's too far for Johan Valdez, Raiders ball. This is McDonald, who go on the left side, takes a long three, it's no good, the rebound goes into the hands of Valdez. Farnworth to King on the left side, fake the three, back to Farnworth at the free throw line. This is Morin with it, goes up with it, can't get the bounce, the rebound, batted away, and he'll stay with Vogt. Head coaches on both sides, for the Raiders it's Bob Slater, and for the Bears it's Rob Delalu. Farnworth to inbound the ball, will go up top to King, he faked the three, tried to go on the left side, it's batted away, and he'll stay with Vogt again. Shot clock will stay at 30 seconds. King will take it in the backcourt. Go to Valdez on the right side. Back to King up top. King got Valdez calling for it, and it's stolen. Bjork will get it to regather. McDonald going to try to drive on the right side, kicks it out. Medeiros driving in. Back to McDonald, another three on the way. No good. The rebound will fall for Morin. And a three by Valdez on the side, no good. York will get that rebound. First rebound of the game for the Raiders. Medeiros to spin, cutting it back. Goes to Bjork up top. We'll leave it for McDonald, the sophomore. Going back to Medeiros on the left side. Another three on the way, no good again. Farnworth on the board this time. Farnworth with Medeiros on him, wants to take it all the way. We get a jump ball call that's going to go the Raiders' way. The first sub of the game, it's going to be Brady Fries checking in for Matt King. This is to McDonald, the bounce pass to Santos, back to McDonald, a straight on three is good! This is Farnworth, the bounce pass, it's loose. Bjork will gather it and it's quickly turned over to Fries. Fries driving himself and a foul called on Finn Bjork. That's a good foul to give up if you're Finn Bjork.
Right now the scoreboard reads 8-2 to two in favor of both, but the referee's over probably to fix that. It should be 5-5. Five, five. And it's going to be Fries at the line. Fries is a junior on the bear side. And for the Bears, this is the third game out of seven for consecutive conference games. So far, one and one in that stretch. Had really an up and down year. They've lost the first three, then they won the next three, and they lost on Thursday. There might have been a technical called on the floor. It might have been an intentional foul to stop that breakaway. But it's Fries at the line who will shoot it. First one is good, and Voke has the lead back. And the second attempt, he gets the bounce. And they're going to have McDonald shoot on the other side, so it might have been a double tech on both sides. First one, he can't get the bounce. And the second one goes in and out, misses both at the line. But the Raiders will take it as it was. A jump ball. This is McDonald with Farnworth on him. McDonald kicking it out. Taylor fakes the three, now pulls back and drains it. Dominic Taylor, the freshman, with the three ball. Farnworth the bounce pass to Morin. Morin taking it himself. Heavy contact and one for Cam Morin. And the free throw is good. This is McDonald pulling back, goes to Medeiros on the left. Medeiros to spin, tough shot. Can't get the bounce. The rebound will go to Morin. And a quick pace up ahead. It's batted around. It might have hit McGarry in the nose. That last foul was on McGarry. This is McDonald on the right, faking it. Goes back to Medeiros, another three on the way, and it's good! Eleven ten. Somerset Berkeley leads, 3.37 to go in the first. Farnworth with it on the left, goes down low to Morin. Morin finds a cutting man, and it's Reese to give the lead back for the Bears. Medeiros has it with Fries on him. We'll take another three. And it hits the rim and it's grabbed by Farnworth. Farnworth trying to lead it up ahead. Fries with it. Some contact down low. The rebound batted around. It'll fall for McGarry. McDonald wants to take it up quick. Nearly lost it. Gets it back. McDonald calling from something for Dion. We'll go on the left. Now he finds Dion. Dion on the right side and he's fouled. He'll go to the line for two. Cam Morin committed the foul. Dion's free throw is good. That's his first point of the game. Jaden Reese checks out of the game. And the second free throw is good. Valdez in the corner, go back to Farnworth, a deep three on the way, it's short, the rebound to Taylor. McDonald to Medeiros on the left, cutting to the right, the floater is good for Mesa Medeiros. This is Valdez, another three, no good, batted by McGarry into the hands of Dion. Medeiros on the left on the pass from McDonald. Medeiros the spin. It'll go to Dion up top to Taylor. 
faking the three, driving, and it's stolen by the Bears. Fries leaves it for Farnworth, fakes the three, back to Fries, down low, an open man. It goes to Morin, some contact down low. But they're gonna count the basket. McDonald under two to go in the first. Somerset Berkeley up 15 to 14. Farnworth on him. Dion back to McDonald. Find space, another three on the way. Good, Brendan McDonald with six. It's Farnworth again. Medeiros is on him. The bounce pass to Valdez, fakes the three. Goes down low, nearly stolen by McGarry. Go back to Valdez in the corner. Another fake of a three. Now pull up for two, it's off. The rebound is grabbed by Ramos, and he puts it in. It's the first points of the game for Saron Ramos. It's McDonald again with Farnworth on him. McDonald lost it, and it's kept in. Great hustle play from Cam Moore. Farnworth finds a man down low, and it's lost off the hands of Ramos. Another sub in. Christian Cadero will check into the game, replacing Valdez. Valdez off to a good start, three points on a board. Dion will leave it for Medeiros with a minute to go. Medeiros driving on the left side against Fries. Medeiros will kick it out to the corner. That's a three on the way. For Dom Taylor, it's no good. The rebound goes for Ramos. Warren driving in again off the head of Cadero, and it's stolen by McDonald. McDonald going all the way, taking it easy, but he couldn't finish the layup. And the rebound grabbed by Fries. Get it out to Farnworth down low for Morin. More contact, nothing called again. And Morin gets two more. He's got seven to his name as the shot clock is off. McDonald can wait to take the last shot if he wants it. He's been good at it since his first game here. This is Medeiros with eight to go. Medeiros to step back along two. No good, the rebound to Ramos. He's got a hurry, three to go. Farnworth pulling up for three, it's short. Medeiros will get the board, it will count for him. And that is the end of the first quarter. We're tied at 18 here at the Veterans Memorial Gymnasium. The second quarter comes up in just a minute. Back inside the Veterans Memorial Gymnasium on the campus of Somerset Berkeley Regional High School for our SEC boys basketball matchup. Currently tied at 18 between the Raiders and the Bears. So we have a large crowd on both sides. It's a tropical theme tonight for the Somerset Berkeley student section. And a lot of students and parents making their way here all the way from New Bedford, about 25 minutes from here. As the second quarter gets underway, Farnworth has up top and a miss pass from Christian Cadero. Possession goes back to the Raiders. It's going to be Medeiros to inbound to McDonald. McDonald has really surprised everybody. It's one thing to be good as a sophomore. It's another thing to be a captain as Medeiros misses the three, the rebound grabbed by Cadero. Yeah, it's another thing to be a captain. He's one of the captains on this Raiders side as a sophomore. It's almost unheard of, really, for any sport. And he'll get credit for the steal. He'll drive down, he'll pull up for a three, and it's good! BMAC, another three. And the Raiders have the lead back, 21 to 18. Farnworth calling for motion, goes to Ramos, out to the corner. Fries, another three. Keep going end to end, the rebound offensively to Farnworth. He'll go back for Morin in the corner. That is no good, the rebound to Dion. Another three on the way is good again for Brendan McDonald. First player in double digits in the terms of points. Bounce pass down low to Ramos. Ramos looking, has an open man in the corner, wants to take it himself, the floater no good, the rebound grabbed by Cadero. A step back three from Fries, he never took it. Morin back in the corner, another three on the way, no good, the rebound. Grabbed by Taylor. Medeiros able to draw foul on Kern Farnworth. That's his second foul. 
be Mason Medeiros to shoot two. He's got five points on the board so far. That first one is good. Get two more subs. It's going to be King Valdez back into the game. Farnworth and Fries will take a seat. Second free throw, he gets the bounce. We got more subs coming in. Kaven DeSantos, Max Finlaw look to be checking in. We have a timeout called on the floor. We'll be right back in just a minute. We're live. Back inside Somerset Berkeley Regional High School where the Raiders have started out the first minute 33 with an eight nothing run in the second quarter. New Bedford will just try to get back into this game as it's stolen by Taylor. McDonald has it. McDonald driving on the left, we'll cut it back. Goes to Finlaw, open three, and it bounces, and it's no good. Ramos, another board. He's already got five. Matt King with Max Finlaw on him. Goes into the corner again for Morin, back to King. King trying to drive, finds an open lane. He got stripped, gets possession of it back. Fans calling for a travel. Instead, he steps on the out-of-bounds line. Finlaw will inbound, we'll go to DeSantos. Finlaw on the left, getting it to McDonald, open lane on the right, rejected by Saron Ramos. We'll stay with the Raiders as we have another sub coming into the game. It's Jaden Reese, the junior back in. Christian Cadero will sit out. McDonald looking. Bounce pass it to DeSantos, back to McDonald. Trying to find an open lane again. Is that the SB logo? We'll get it back to DeSantos. Stumbled, gets it to Dion on the right. Dion to Taylor. Taylor takes the two. We'll go to Dion, eight on the shot clock. Finlaw has it in the corner. Open lane, the reverse layup is no good. The rebound to Reese. It's Morin trying to drive in. We'll kick it out to the corner. Fake three by Valdez, and it's stolen by DeSantos. DeSantos will slow it up. We'll get to McDonald. Nearly stolen by the Bears. Dion driving in, and another block. And they're gonna call a foul. It's gonna be on Yohan Valdez. That's his first foul of the game. Dion will shoot two. Two points, two boards so far. First one's good. Will Dion, part of a large group of juniors on this team. They only have two seniors on the Somerset Berkeley side as the second free throw is good. And neither of those two seniors, which are Ian Sullivan and Jack Finlaw, were on the varsity squad last year. King will get it to Valdez. Valdez, a potential three on one break. Morin gets the layup. Finlaw to McDonald, very close to that line. McDonald with Valdez on him, a little crossover. We're calling for an ISO from the stance. McDonald, the floater, it's good again. A long pass by King to Valdez. Valdez, some contact, nothing called. It's grabbed by DeSantos in the end. This is Finlaw on the left. Finlaw taking it himself, and it's blocked again by Ramos. Have a night defensively, Saron Ramos. Ramos again, nearly lost it, batted around. DeSantos has it, and it was almost turned over. Falls for DeSantos, finally. And a good crossover by Brenda McDonald. Halfway through the second quarter, 30 to 20 in the favor of Somerset Berkeley. McDonald on the right. And he tried to get it to Dominic Taylor. I think McDonald is saying it got deflected. But they won't overturn it. It'll stay with the Bears. The inbound looks like it'll go to Matt King. Instead, it's going to go to Valdez. We'll pass it back. Cam Morin driving in. Good pass to Ramos, who missed the layup. Don't see that really at all at the high school level. This is McGarry, some contact, and another block. 
Down low for Cam Moore and New Bedford doing everything they can defensively just to try to get some stops and back into this game. We get another sub. Camden Hoyle will check in. Max Finlaw will check out. Hoyle right away at three is off. Another board for Ramos. Ramos, when it's all said and done, might have a double-double. A drive for Moore and count the basket and one. Drew McGarry on that foul. Morin is now the first bear to reach the double digit point plateau. He misses the free throw, the rebound batted around. It's gonna fall for King. King trying to direct traffic. Go to the right to Fries, back to King. King down low. Ramos back to Fries. Fries looking 20 on the shot clock, plenty of time. Goes to Morin. Morin at the free throw line. Ramos will pull up for two. Banks it in. McDonald to Hoyle. Hoyle to DeSantos on the left corner side. Goes to McDonald. Another three on the way. And it's in again. Brenda McDonald, 17 so far. And we still have two and a half to go in this first half. Brady Fries down low, another floater. No good, the rebound by Reese. And another foul called. It's only the fourth foul on the Raiders side. That time it's on Dominic Taylor, the freshman. The first free throw is good from Reese. I mentioned Dominic Taylor. A lot of hype around him coming into his freshman year. Played an amazing three years for the Berkeley Middle School Eagles side. Second free throw in and out. Ball batted out. It'll be Raiders ball. Medeiros will inbound to McDonald. McDonald to midcourt to Dion. Here's Hoyle, bakes a three. The spin to Medeiros. Medeiros to McDonald on the right. Bounce pass back to Medeiros. Medeiros cutting it back again. McDonald wanted it, he was open. Medeiros to Hoyle. Hoyle to Dion at the free throw line. Kicks it out a little too far for Caven DeSantos, the sophomore, and possession goes back to the Bears. 33-25, Somerset Berkeley leads. 2.04 to go in the game. Four fouls by each team so far. Both sides with five different scorers so far. Another pass down low to Jaden Reese. And that makes it a two possession game. Dion to Medeiros. To McDonald on the right side. Again, the student section calling for an ISO. McDonald between the legs. We'll go to Medeiros on the underhand pass. 15 on the shot clock. Medeiros has options. We'll go to McDonald on the left. As Hoyle if he wants to go there. Goes to Medeiros, down low to Dion. Dion, some contact. Offensive foul on Will Dion. Ferris will take it up with Demetrius Baptiste, the first time we mentioned his name today. Baptiste on the left side for Morin. Morin, cross court, fries, had an open three, decides to take it back. Go back to Baptiste, the bounce pass to fries again, open again, can't hit it this time. Reese gets the board. Go to fries, driving in. He'll go to Somerset Berkeley, didn't touch anybody. Finn Bjork will check back in. Kevin DeSantos will go out with exactly one minute to go. Somerset Berkeley, this is their start of three straight at home. Next game will be Friday at 6.30. They'll play Fairhaven, and then they'll have next Tuesday here against the old Rochester Bulldogs, also at 6.30. McDonald has it at the logo. Lots of noise coming on both sides. McDonald looking, he's on the right hand, switches to the left, trying to direct traffic. 
still holding on to it. Eight to go on the shot clock. Medeiros on the right side, back to McDonald. We'll go to Hoyle, down low for Bjork. The one hand floater gets the roll. Finn Bjork on the scoreboard. Shot clock is off. Brady Fries, the junior with it, with Hoyle on him. Fries cutting it back. They can hold for the last shot if they want. Fries to Morin. Morin driving in, and a travel call. This will be a chance for the Raiders to get a basket. We see McDonald with a lot of buzzer beaters in his time here. He's going to get the ball. Two to go. McDonald pulling up. A deep three, and it's off the mark. And that is the end of the first half. The score after the first half, Somerset Berkeley 35, New Bedford 27, 16 minutes down, 16 to go at Somerset Berkeley. Back for the second half in just a minute. We're live. We're back on the campus of Somerset Berkeley Regional High School in what's been a very exciting FCC basketball matchup. Currently, it's the Raiders up 35 to 27 over the Greater New Bedford Bears. As we head into the second half, Keegan Hamlet alongside Jeff LaPriori on camera for our Blue Raider Studios at Somerset Berkeley and for Berkeley Community Access TV. Mason Medeiros will inbound as the second half is underway. Somerset Berkeley attacking right to left in the white uniform. New Bedford going left to right in the famous green and gold. McDonald has at the top the bounce pass to Bjork. Down low for McGarry, finds Dion. Dion has options, hits it off the foot of Johan Valdez. He'll stay with the Raiders. Bjork on the side, a corner three, in and out. The rebound is grabbed by Morin. Farnworth nearly stolen by McDonald. Finds an open man down low. It's Reese again. Leading scores in the first half on both sides. The Bears, it's Cam Morin with 11. Brenda McDonald, the story of the game so far, with 17 first half points. McGarry adds to his total with the floater. Farnworth, the bounce pass to Matt King. King back to Farnworth, down low, and it's stolen again. York, the first half full possession of the ball. Here's McDonald on the left side. Goes to Bjork, cross court. Back to McDonald, goes to Medeiros on the left corner side. Medeiros, another floater, no good, gets his own board. Medeiros trying to go up with it, instead will pull it back out for McDonald. Go to Dion down low, to Medeiros, a three on the way, it's short. Another offensive board this time from Finn Bjork. Bjork up top to McDonald. McDonald resets for the Raiders, thought about a long three. Instead goes to Medeiros, Medeiros to Bjork, a three, and it's off. Offensive rebound for Dion, nobody there, and a rejection, and it's out of bounds to the Bears. Bears left, Will Dion. All alone down low on that right side. Just couldn't put it up in time. Here's King. As we get the chain of Let's Go Raiders from the 200 plus here tonight. It goes to Valdez in the corner for a three. It's no good. Rebound to Medeiros. Good strong rebound for Mason Medeiros. Who going to McGarry all the way. Fighting for two. Farnworth to Valdez, back to Farnworth. The double team on for the Raiders. Here's King, down low to Reese. Morin looking, has Reese instead goes to Valdez. Down low to Reese, some contact and a foul on McGarry. It's gonna be McGarry's third of the game. It's Reese at the free throw line. First one is good, he's got 10. And the second one is good, he matches Cam Morin with the lead in points. Medeiros, the bounce pass to McDonald. Backcourt pressure coming for the Bears. They trail by eight. Dion down low and it's stolen by Farnworth. Full court pass, up ahead, blocked by Medeiros. The follow up is no good. Another try is off the head of Dion. It'll stay with the Bears. 
Barnmore to inbound, looking. Goes to the right side to Reese. Reese back to Farnworth, baking a three. Goes to Morin for two, bounces. The rebound batted around. Madeira still fighting for it, and it ends up to Matt King, who will get credit for it. Farnworth on the right goes to King up top. King down low to Morin. Morin to King. Another three on the way. No good. The rebound batted by Bjork into the hands of Will Dion. McDonald to Bjork as Dom Taylor is going to check back into the game. Medeiros on the left side, down low to McGarry. McGarry back to Medeiros, open three on the way, it's good! Farnworth to King, back to Farnworth, looking back to King. He was open for three, didn't take it. Goes to Farnworth up top, McDonald on him. Goes to the corner, Valdez driving on Bjork, looking for an open lane, instead goes to Farnworth, another three on the way, no good, Dion gets the board. Here's McDonald, Farnworth on him, McGarry on the right side, driving. And we get a whistle called. And I believe they're just trying to reset the shot clock. It does switch to 28. And they will make the sub. Taylor in, McGarry out. Goes to Medeiros on the left. Down low to Bjork. Open Dion, contact! Can't get the basket, but a foul. And a timeout called by New Bedford coach Rob Delelu. We're back in a minute. Dion at the line will shoot two. That foul was on Jaden Reese of the Bears, only his first foul. Only one team foul on each side so far. Again, seven creates the one and one bonus. Ten gets you the double bonus, where any foul will get you two free throws automatically, even if it's not in the attempt of shooting. This is Dion on the first. Can't get the first one to go. Second one goes down this time. The lead up to 12 for Somerset Berkeley. Four to go in the third. Farnworth going on the right side. Tries leaving it. It swung around a couple times. More and down low. More contact and another foul. It's Dion second. Cam Morin will go to the line for two. First one's good. Second one is well short. Offensive rebound by Valdez. Trying to go up with it and can't get it to go. Dion on the board. Raiders trying to swing it quick. McDonald to Medeiros. Taylor on the left, back to Medeiros. Medeiros back to Taylor. Taking the three, back to Medeiros, down low. Good ball movement from the Raiders. McDonald to Taylor, open three, faked it, pulled back. Dion to Medeiros, another three on the way, bounces up, hits the rim again, and it's eventually grabbed by Juan Valdez. Farnworth taking it up. Farnworth has had the ankle issue for a little bit this year. It is wrapped up tonight. Feed down low is no good for Ramos. McDonald grabs it. McDonald with 17 yet to score in the second half. He has the ball. Make the long three. We'll go to Medeiros on the right side. The zone double team back on again for the Bears. McDonald, that's a long three. Can't get the bank shot in. Madeira grabs it. We'll go to Dion up top. Goes for McDonald again. Another try. This time he connects. Here's Farnworth. Madeira's on him. Trying to direct traffic. 
Goes down low to Morn. Finds Ramos looking. Valdez, Taylor on him. It goes down low for Morin, batted around. It got blocked, it won't be a rebound. McDonald to Taylor, fakes the three, pulls back. Deflected out by Curran Farnworth. We get another sub, Christian Cadero back into the game. You want Valdez, will step out. The Bedford hasn't gone to everybody on the bench yet. You have a couple options, you have Caden Mello is one of the stronger options. And Finn Bjork gets an and one down low. That foul is going to be on Cadero. Only his first foul. Kate Mello, we mentioned on the bench, one of the stronger options. Spent some time this summer in the Burgo Basketball Association down in New Bedford. The ball batted around. Cadero has it. The Bears trying to go up with it, stolen. Here comes Medeiros, pulling back, the spin, taking it himself, and he scores. Timeout called. The fans are up on their feet, as well as the Raiders bench. 50 to 32, we're back in a minute. Somerset Berkeley has opened the game up with an 18 point lead now. We still have 9.34 to go tonight. We got a minute 34 to go in this third quarter. Reese will inbound. It's Farnworth, Taylor applying backcourt pressure. Fries to Farnworth, going down low, and open Reese, can't hit it. And Dion, another board. The second time tonight we've seen open layups on the bare side, just unable to convert. Just an off night tonight, perhaps. Dom Taylor, open for three, it's good! This is Farnworth, the chance of he's a freshman. In re reference to Dominic Taylor on the Raiders side. The Bears driving in again, a wild shot, no good. The board grabbed by Bjork, it's turned over, falls in the hands of Fries, and another foul called. Fries misses the first. That foul was on Mason Medeiros. It's only his first foul. Second free throw is good. He's got three tonight. He's also got a board to that stat line. Medeiros has it. He got a 12 second difference between shot clock and game clock. Medeiros on the right hand will switch to the left. Which side will he drive on? He wants to take it on the left. We'll go to McDonald instead. McDonald kicks it out. Taylor, another three from the corner. No good, ball batted around. Taylor with the hustle, able to get it back. Great play from Dominic Taylor. And it's turnover again. Here comes Farnworth the other way. Bjork strips it away. Here come the break for the Raiders, Dion. Couldn't handle it. We'll go back to the Bears with 12.3 to go. Farnworth will take it. Here's Morin with Medeiros on him. Morin all the way, some contact, nothing called. Here comes Bjork with two, with one to McDonald for another buzzer beater, can't hit it. And that is the end of the third quarter. The Raiders have sprung this game open. They have a 20 point lead as we head into the fourth quarter, which comes up in just a minute. We're live. Back inside Somerset Berkeley Regional High School at the Veterans Memorial Gymnasium, where Somerset Berkeley has a 20 point lead. The gymnasium actually home to two courts. Sometimes they'll use both for certain events. And they have the graduation inside a couple times. They have the annual dodgeball tournament here. And we get a stoppage. Clock's messed up. They have to fix it. I've seen a couple instances with the clock. As some of the players on the Somerset Berkeley side know at the Berkeley Middle School, lots of issues with that score clock we've seen in years past. Ball batted around, it's stolen by Medeiros. McDonald able to get it somehow. McDonald, Farnworth on him. You gotta think at some point we're gonna see more of the bench players starting to come in if this leads hold. McDonald, the step back, it's no good. 
Might as well let it roll out. It'll be New Bedford ball. Another great night tonight for Somerset Berkeley Athletics. Basketball team, if this result holds, will go to five and one. Their hockey team, six and zero oh so far. Unbelievable time right now to be a Somerset Berkeley student. We get a foul call, look to be all ball. Slater not happy, neither is the student section. The foul is going to be against Brenda McDonald. Actually, no, I was mistaken. It's on Finn Bjork. Christian Cadero misses the first free throw. We're up on the walking track here at Somerset Berkeley broadcasting the game for our angle. It looked like the referee put up a 1-4. Usually hold up the jersey number who gets the foul. So it must have been a 1-5. The second free throw is in and out. We get a violation. And Kadera will shoot again. And he gets it this time. Christian Kadero finally on the score sheet tonight. Now the sixth bear on that scoreboard. This is McDonald, the long pass to Bjork. Down low to Dion. Contact. Offensive foul on Will Dion. It's his third. Dion with 5.7 boards to his name tonight, having a great night. Farnworth will take it for the Bears, down 19. They need something quick. McDonald on Farnworth, goes to the corner to Fry's, batted down. McDonald has it, it stays in. And Bjork turns it over, another floater is no good. Dion grabs the board and it's a foul in the end. That foul's on Cadero. McDonald the bounce pass to Medeiros. Medeiros driving in, does he want it himself? He'll cut it back. McDonald open for three again. What a night for Brendan McDonald. He's got 23. This is Farnworth, good pass down low to Reese, some contact by Dion, nothing called. York able to spring away with that board. And Medeiros now gets it to McDonald. Does he want to take another shot? Keep building on that score total. He wants to drive. He kicks it out to Bjork, and it's no good. The rebound, Bjork trying to get it. We get a jump ball. But did Slater call timeout? Either way, it's Somerset Berkeley Balls. They have the possession. McGarry will go in, Bjork will go out. McDonald looking, goes to Dion in the corner, fakes the three, driving in, another floater, and another score. Let's keep doing the floaters. Been working all night. Valdez to Farnworth, back in the corner. Another fake three attempt. The Bears have gotten open a lot tonight. And we get another foul called. It's on Dion again, that's his fourth. If he has one more, he's out. And DeSantos is at the bench and an offensive foul called. DeSantos will check in, presumably for Will Dion, indeed it will be. That's the last we see of Dion. He had a great night tonight. Quick pass down the court to McGarry, off the bench. It's no good. A good behind the back dribble from Farnworth. And more contact down low. Might be against Mason Medeiros for a foul. And that puts the Bears into one and one. It's Morin at the line, first free throw is no good. Morin with 12 points, trying to make it 13 with this shot, he does. More pressure coming in the backcourt. Medeiros just trying to get it over, he does. Medeiros to McGarry. His 
blocked away on the attempted pass by Farnworth. And another timeout called. We'll keep it here during the timeout. Keegan Hamlet alongside Jeff LaPriori. If you're watching us on our Berkeley Cable Access or our Blue Raider Studios, we do thank you. It's a great crowd here on both sides tonight. And we get a big chant coming from the student section. We're doing the Spell Raiders chant. And the Somerset Berkeley student section has been phenomenal for a long time, still going strong even after my four years here. They have one of the best, if not the best atmosphere in the South Coast Conference. But for Somerset Berkeley, this is the start of five straight conference matchups. Again, it's also the start of a three-game homestand. They get Friday against Fairhaven, next Tuesday against Old Rochester, both at 6.30 p.m. Next meeting between these two teams will be at the Fieldhouse on the campus of New Bedford High School. It'll be Friday, January 27th, three and a half weeks from now. It'll be 6.30 tip-off and another seal from the Bears. It's Farnworth going all the way, passing it up, and a block from DeSantos. Rejecting it to the side, climbing up the imaginary ladder. Goes to Farnworth though, for a three, no good. Another board grab, and it's missed again. Two offensive boards from Ramos. And a jump ball's called, it'll stay with the Bears. Ramos now with 10 boards to his name tonight. Farnworth to inbound, still looking. We'll go to Morin up top with Medeiros on him. Morin switching on the left side. On the right hand, the underhand shot is no good. We do have a foul called. New Bedford in the bonus. It was in the act of shooting anyway. A foul on Kevin DeSantos. First free throw is no good for Morin. Somerset Berkeley tonight with a total of 13 fouls committed. New Bedford only with eight. The second free throw is in and out, and another board for Ramos, who gets it to Moore, and he can't hit it. Medeiros with the board this time. Medeiros still going with it, and double teamed again. And we have another timeout called by Bob Slater and the Raiders. 4.47 to go. We'll be back in just a minute. Back inside the Veterans Memorial Gymnasium. A lot of fans still here. In fact, pretty much everybody's still here. The game is 447 away from being over. But fans on both sides, they want to see this action. It's always great to see the conference matchup. The ball is in the hands of Mesa Medeiros. They'll swing it to Taylor down low, a little too far from McGarry. He'll work out in the end for McDonald. Another corner three, no good. Medeiros the tap, and it's grabbed by DeSantos. Taylor with it, trying to feed McGarry again. It's down low. It's New Bedford ball. DeSantos comes out. Dion's back in. Dion has to be careful. The next foul, he's out. Yohan Valdez to Farnworth up top, finds a cutting man and an easy score for Saron Ramos, who's really had a great game tonight. And the score sheet might not look at, like it, but you can't complain about 11 rebounds at all if your coach Rob Delalu. Goes to Taylor again in the corner, McDonald another try at the three. This time it goes down, 26 points for Brenda McDonald. Farnworth to Valdez. With Taylor on him, goes back to Farnworth. The lead is 24, beating it down low. Cadero trying to go up, some contact from Taylor. Goes to Farnworth up top, driving in, no good. Gets his own board, and a foul on Mesa Medeiros. It's Mesa Medeiros' third foul of the night. There's gonna be one thing that Bob Slater says that they need to work on, really. If anything, it's gonna be committing the fouls. It's the first free throw, it's no good. It's really been part of the reason for New Bedford's struggles tonight is the missed free throws. They've had a lot of chances tonight, just unable to convert. The 
The second free throw in and out. Dion gets the board. And the attempt is blocked, but Medeiros got it back. Goes down low for McGarry, and an attempted rejection was no good. McGarry with more. He's got eight tonight. Pass too far, was deflected. We got more subs. Max Finlaw, Camden Hoyle into the game. Dom Taylor, Mason Medeiros will take a seat. Dom Taylor, also one of a few Raiders who plays on the JV side. They play in two quarters usually, first, third, or second, fourth, so that they're rested for the game. But they play for varsity and another steal for the Raiders. McDonald has it. He's going to pull it back, maybe try to wind some more time down. It goes to Finlaw on the right. To McDonald again. Ian Sullivan's going to come into the game. That gets a chair from the student section. McDonald's three is no good. Hoyle gets the rebound. We'll go to Finlaw, who fakes the three, trying to pass it up. He lost it. There's Farnworth driving in on Dion. No good. Gets his own board again. The follow-up is good. Current Farnworth finally on the board tonight. Finlaw has it in the back. We'll go to McDonald on the left side. Gets it to an open McGarry, who faked it. And Ramos read that well. McDonald open, finds an open Hoyle, three on the way, it's good! Camden Hoyle on the board. And we get another timeout, it looks like this might be just to get the subs in, so we'll keep it here. They are gonna resume play quickly. And along with Ian Sullivan, get more subs, Colton Pacheco and Max Finlaw's brother, Jack. Both of them seniors on the court now. Sullivan taps it away, but it stays with the Bears. Baptiste to the corner, another three on the way, it's no good. And Jack Finlaw gets the board and a big cheer from the student section. we will go to Pacheco, to Hoyle, it's off his foot, still loose in the area. Anthony Crawford will get it to Caden Mello. Mello to the left. Go to Baptiste, another three on the way, and it's good for Demetrius Baptiste. This is the part of game you like to see, really, if you're a fan of either side. Some of the players who might not get that much playing time, getting some action. Another three on the way! Camden Hoyle making a name for himself in these last few minutes. He's got his second three of the night. Go to Baptiste, another three, and it's good! We're going end to end here in the final few minutes. This is Max Finlaw to Hoyle. Hoyle opens Sullivan down low. Does he want to take it? It goes to Pacheco, who put up a three. It's no good. Batted around to Hoyle, who lost it. And the outlet pass was not there. Hoyle takes over. Final minute, the Raiders up 24. Here's Max Finlaw over half court. And the attempted pass a little too far for Camden Hoyle. It's into the bleachers, and it's New Bedford ball. We get another sub coming into the game. Cam Mercure will check in. Kate Mello will step out. Mello. Looks to be a little excited. He got some playing time. I got to spend the summer doing a few months of basketball with him on a team. And he was a great role model, great leader. So it's a great addition to have on this New Bedford side. Here's Ian Sullivan pulling up for three. It's no good. And the ball goes to Malik Pyers for his first board of the night. Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. Goes to the corner and a shot is good. That was Tyler Dubois, his first points of the game. Pacheco to Finlaw, we'll go to Sully. He's gonna take it again, it's in and out again. Crawford with another board. The Bears take it up with eight to go. They'll go to Baptiste. Finlaw on him, battle of the zeros. Nearly stepped out. Sullivan has it. And that is the end of the game. A great night overall for Somerset Berkeley. They move to five and one on the year. Two and one in conference play. New Bedford to three and five. Now with the losing record, two and three in conference play. Your leading scorers on each side. Brenda McDonald with 26. Cam Morin for the Bears with 13.
For Jeff LaPriori on camera, I'm Keegan Hamlet saying so long as it finishes here from the Veterans Memorial Gymnasium, the Somerset Berkeley Raiders 69, the New Bedford Bears 48. Have a good night.